San Diego renters could soon be protected from being evicted at no fault of their own. ABC 10 News reporter John Horn explains why even as COVID restrictions have lifted, the city could crack down on landlords. Speaking through a translator, Oneda Maldonado says she's been stressed lately. Not only did she just have a baby, but she also got an eviction notice giving her 60 days to get out of her Linda Vista apartment because the landlord wants to pull the units off the market and sell the building. But relief may be coming. On April 4th, the city council will consider banning landlords from no-fault evictions until 60 days after the pandemic state of emergency is declared over. In other words, landlords wouldn't be able to force tenants out so they can do a substantial remodel and rent the unit for more money or decide they want to move back in or simply pull it off the market. The ordinance is similar to the county's eviction moratorium, which expired last August and has not been replaced. Although the, you know, the pandemic feels like it's coming to a close, um, we're not really completely out of the woods and so there is the concern still that we're, we're displacing tenants and potentially creating a, you know, a health hazard. From July to January, the Legal Aid Society of San Diego received more than 300 requests for help with no-fault evictions. But the Southern California Rental Housing Association says that's a small fraction of San Diegans and that the moratorium would hurt landlords who have legitimate reasons to take back their properties. I feel as if we've been a little bit blindsided, John. You know, the Southern California Rental Housing Association has spent the better part of the last two years and before making very serious outreach for collaborative efforts to solve the housing crisis. Either way, San Diegans cannot be evicted for non-payment of rent associated with a COVID-related hardship. John Horn, ABC 10 News. Evictions for illegal uses and nuisances would still be allowed under the moratorium, as would evictions for non-payment of rent not related to COVID. Council President Sean Ello Rivera, who is proposing this moratorium, was out of town and not available for an interview.